Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Web Money app. So how do you create an account and how to do use it generally. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we actually create our account here and use Web Money app? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to install the app itself. So unfortunately, you won't be able to create your account via the web browser method. So in this case, if you're using your computer, you need to switch over to your mobile device and install the following app. In this case, go ahead, open up Google Play Store and search for the following, which is going to be Web Money Keeper. Now from here, install it. And once you've installed it, let's go ahead, open up the app. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to actually create our account. Now typically at the very bottom, you'll have the option to sign up, go ahead and click on it. And from here, you just need to enter your mobile number. In this case, go ahead and enter your mobile number here and just click on the next button at the bottom of your screen. Now in this case, it's now going to ask you to make a short selfie here just to verify that the registration here is from a real person and not from a bot. In this case, go ahead and click on the next button at the bottom of your screen and just proceed on taking a selfie. Now on the next page, it's now going to ask you to basically enter a confirmation code that you'll be receiving. Now in this case, just enter the last four numbers that you see on the phone call that you'll be receiving. And from here, let's go ahead and enter the uh, actual uh, code here. So let's go ahead and enter that. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter that here. And from here on the next page, it's going to ask you to create your password. In this case, let's go ahead and create our password here and agree to the terms of service here. In this case, you need to accept the agreements for web money transfer. So it is recommended that you read their articles here and also the uh, following uh, legal and grants uh, link as well. In this case, let's go ahead and enter our password and agree to them. Let's go ahead and do this. In this case, let's go ahead and click on next and it's going to process that. So let's just wait for it to process. Now the next page is going to say updating information. So in this case, let's just wait for it to fully process. And now it's going to say welcome. In this case, you could read all the information here. Just go ahead and click on next. And from here, it's going to ask you to set in access code for your account. It is recommended that you secure your account as much as you can here. So in this case, let's go set a pin here. Click on next. And from here, let's go ahead and enter our pin. Let's go ahead and retype our pin here. And now if you have fingerprint enabled on your device here, it's going to say update biometrics. So let's go ahead and update our biometrics here. And from here, if you want to use your location, you could go ahead and allow that. From here, let's go ahead and click on next. Now, if you want to leave a push notifications, you could go ahead and allow that as well. Click on next. And from here, if you want to find out which of your contacts are already using web money transfer, you could go ahead and do that as well. But let's go ahead and click on next. Now from here, you've just created your account. Let's go ahead and click on try. Now from here, it's going to say attention, your AD app now supports Dark Team too. So if you want, if you want to switch over to our Dark Team here, you could go ahead and do that as well. So for now, let's go ahead and click on no. Now, in the main UI for uh, web money here, you have the option or the following options. So you have home, payments, chats, QR code, and more. Now in this case, the home page here would contain the general information about your account. Like for example, your finances here, your widgets that is currently available, as well as news or useful information that you might want to actually read. So also in this page, you should be able to see your purse as well. So your purse would contain funds for your account here. So if you want to pay for something, this is where you'll be getting your funds. Now in this case, if you want to add some funds or top up on your purse, just click on the top of purse here and choose the method that you want. So there are going to be a lot of methods here. Like for example, send an invoice, we have via donations, even from a bank card and even from a bank account if you want to. For example, let's go and choose from a bank card here. In this case, you just need to enter the amount that you want to top up, the card number, the card currency, valid to, or the expiration date here, as well as the CVV or CVV or CVC2 or CVV2 code. In this case, what you've entered that there's going to be some further verification depending on your card so in this case just complete that and you should be able to add your card and top up into uh your uh, purse here now what are the other pages we could access here well in this case if you want to change a few things on your account well in this case you could access the tree dot icon at the top right of your screen 
And from here, you could go ahead to go to settings. Under settings, you have the option to change about uh, something about your account, security, restrictions, apps, updates, notification. Now, depending the depending on the setting that you choose here, you'll be able to change a few things. Now, if you choose account here, you should be able to see different information about yourself. That includes profile picture that you have right now, WMID, as well as your uh, phone number and emails that is related to your account. Now, also, if you choose security here, you have the option to further secure your account. For example, if you want to hide your purse balance here, if you want to change your PIN or confirmation metric here, uh, if you want to change that as well, and if you want to use biometric scanner as well. Now, depending on what you want to do here, you could basically do it in here. So, for example, you want to customize the look of your app, the notifications, and anything that you want to customize here, you should be able to change it in settings. In this case, let's go and go back. Now from here, if you click on the add at the top right of the screen, you have the option to create a new purse here or order a new card. Now in this case, you could go and choose whatever option here and you should be able to uh, do what you actually specify here, either creating a purse or order a card. Just follow the on-screen steps and you should be good. Now. Also, you have the capability to go to payments. Now the payment section here actually allows you to uh, basically make payments on specific uh, establishments. In this case, for example, we want to choose the option here for mobile communications. Now, what we need to do first is we need to specify our country or region here. So in this case, I've chosen Philippines. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to also uh, basically select the available um, mobile communications that is on that specific country. So for example, we choose Globe Telecom here. In this case, you just need to basically provide the uh, address, the contact that you want to send to. So first you need to add a contact here, but and allow access on this one and also specify the amount that you want to make a payment. In this case, just click on continue here and you should be able to make your payment for mobile and communications. So they also include internet, games, finances, loans, TV, and a lot more. But just a warning here, it depends on your current region. Some establishments or some entities are not yet available. So if you don't see it in here, you might not be able to access them. But in this case, if you do see them, uh, it's great for you. Also, you have chats here, which contains all the chats that you receive on your account and also some of the notifications that you'll be receiving. Now we also have QR code here. Like for example, you have or someone actually presented you with a QR code. You can actually scan that QR code via the app itself. Now the bottom right, you have more. In this case, there are going to be a lot of uses that you could basically use Web Money app for. Like for example, if you want to add contacts, you should be able to add your contacts here by clicking on the plus button at the bottom right here by entering their WMID or email or phone number or select their phone number here, scan QR code or short your QR code as well. Now in this case, you also have the option to view your transactions. So incoming, outgoing, and yeah. In this case, uh, there, again, there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here. So you also have news, memo, time tracking, market, donations, enum, tasks, loans, index, and a lot more. But yeah, so this is going to be the basics that you need to learn uh, when you're using money app and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.